Chicago. So it's around Naperville. Okay. Yeah, I have family in Springfield, Illinois, and I definitely, you know, like I said, my parents went to the University of Illinois. So I appreciate the Illinois love. And, man, thank you for everything. You look like you're doing good. Everybody's good. Yeah, everybody's healthy. No, All right, perfect. I'm a preschool teacher. So we go back to work next week. Are you a teacher? So you got to go on Kid Nation. You got to tell all your kids uh-huh. to go on kid, KidNation.com so that we can continue to try and save lives. And um, tell everybody to submit videos like doing the, the, the Stay Clean song. Because okay. we literally are trying to galvanize the entire world and make sure the new generation is taken care of and it's embedded in their minds and souls that the number one way to fight this virus is to make sure that you wash your hands. And I know you already know that because you've uh-huh. been free. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank My you. Go live with some other people. Yep. All right. All right. What are we doing, people? I'm at the crib. It is Memorial Day weekend, like we said. I know y'all barbecuing. I want to know what y'all getting geared up to do. What up, Brazil? All right. Let me see who else we can go live with. People around the world, around the world. Come on, phone. What are we doing? The fish pond. Yeah, this is a fish pond in the background. I'm glad you noticed that. It's definitely a fish pond. Um, I have catfish, brim, and bass up in here, as a matter of fact. The only problem is that I hardly ever go go fishing. So I need some people to come fishing with me. So let's see what we could do. All right, let's see what T-Baby's talking about. Yo, whenever I'm searching for people to go live with, I know I look crazy because I'm doing this the whole time. This has got to look stupid as hell on Instagram. What up, T-Baby? Oh, what's going on? Hey, give me another nickname to call you because I don't want to call you T-Baby if that's okay. What's another nickname? I can't do it. What about T? You just waking up? Oh, hell. <laughs> she just said, I can't do it. Breath smelling terrible. You can could, you could smell her breath through the live. What the hell is going on right now? I love when somebody requests to go live and then I actually go live with them and then they then they renege. What the hell is that about? I don't need anybody else reneging on me. Let me see what uh, Zubby talking about. This should be interesting. This is an interesting name, so I'm curious to know where my guy is from, man. Zubby. Yeah, Zubby. Zubby, okay. Zubi. How you doing, Zubi? Hey, man, I love your name. I want to respect it, but for some odd reason, I don't feel comfortable calling you Zubi. What's your nickname, man? My nickname is Zubi, bro. Is, is that too short? Okay, I'm going to call you Z, just for, for live purposes at this moment. Is that cool? Yeah, cool. You can call me Z. I'm actually your biggest fan, man. The name is Zubagram. It actually, actually came from Zubacris, which came from Ludacris. Zubacris. Oh, yeah, I like yeah. that. Zubacris right. is dope. I'm not mad at that. Hey, tell me this. Where you sure. from, bro? I'm from Nigeria. Hello? Nigeria? Yeah, I'm from you Nigeria. you from Nigeria? Man, I got yeah, yeah, family yeah. in Nigeria, you? too, man. You know, I just got my, really? my citizenship and got bombed. You know that, right? Nah, I didn't know that. Are you joking? You didn't oh, yeah. know I just with, got my citizenship in Gabon. Wife, yeah. Hold up, hold up. Zuba. Doxy, yeah. Zuba, Chris, hold on. You didn't know. I knew, I knew. Sorry, sorry. I've been watching it. Sorry. You didn't know that I got my citizenship in Gabon. I promise you. What the I hell see. are you talking about? No, You're my no, number no, one no. fan. You're not my number one fan. You, if you were my number video. one fan, you would know. I'm just messing with you. I bro. do know, man. Come on. I was watching the video. Yeah. I saw you guys love, when, when, when you were in Gabon. You were dancing to some Davido. You're dancing to some, um, yeah. I think, some burner boys of P-Square. Yeah, man. You're actually helping. Absolutely, man. I, yeah, sorry, go on. For sure. I actually got a song with Davido, man. I'm a, hopefully, I'll be able to uh, release that soon. But, man, respect to Nigeria and everybody in Nigeria. Bro, but how, you know but how come you haven't been? You know how you go into your Instagram and you can check. No, sorry, sorry, go uh, No, I was just basically saying you can go on your Instagram and you can check to see where the majority of your Instagram followers are at. And I mean, of course, Atlanta, Georgia and places in the States. But the number one country is Nigeria for some reason. I I, I must have I got a lot of love in Nigeria. I've performed there before, but I never in a million years would have thought that I had that many fans there. So shout out to everybody in Nigeria and everybody on the continent of Africa, period, man. Dude, we've been listening to your stuff from very early, man. I think your your album was actually the first one that I actually bought. That's probably why I got into uh, Ludacris. I think it was uh, word of mouth. Hey, man, I appreciate that. 
And guess what, man? Yeah. Have you ever heard of fonio? In terms of what you eat, it's like rice, but it's like a grain. It's called fonio. You ever heard of fonio. that? Yeah, 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 I do. Yeah. Man, tell it. everybody and all the people that eat rice all the time, no matter what they do, they got to go online and order some fonio because it's a lot healthier for all my people in Africa, for all my people in the United States. This is something that's going to save lives because of the minerals that's in it. F-O-N-I-O. Phone, yo, okay. let's save lives, man. And I know you heard about the Kid Nation thing that I'm doing. I need, I got people in the United States, but I really need people in Nigeria and people in Africa to submit videos and tag at Kid Nation so that we can show love to everybody yeah. in Africa. Cool? 100%, What do you think man. about the new Lil Wayne record, bro? Amazing, man. I actually heard it with, uh, for the first time on, on you and Nelly's um, uh, versus uh, battle. It was amazing, bro. Yeah. yeah Who do you want to see from? battle? Um, who, who don't want to see battle? I'd like to see Missy Elliott and maybe uh, Lauren, Lauren Hill, probably. Lauren Hill, Missy Elliott. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, that's a that's good one. Hey, bro, I know, that's right? a good one, bro. I know, right? Listen, I don't know. I'm curious to know if uh, if Lauren Hill would do that, but that's that's phenomenal advice, bro. I like that. She needs that. to do it for the culture, man. Help us out. You know, because I, I agree. It's a good friend of yours, man. So make it happen, bro. I'm going to suggest that. Hey, man, love to you and love to everybody in Nigeria. Thank y'all for being fans, man. And make sure y'all stay healthy and stay safe out there. Will do, bro. Peace, man. Take care. My guy, Zuba Chris, man. You got to love that. All right, man. Let, let's do like two or three more people while we just having fun, man. It's Saturday. Hoping y'all are good. You know what? Put what country y'all are from when y'all when y'all commenting and stuff. I want to see where y'all are from. Let me see what Ironhead is talking about. I'm just, this, this dude work out. Workout fanatic. Let me see if he's in the gym at this moment right now because we got to stay healthy during. What up, what up, Ludo? All right, so I, I can already tell you a workout fanatic. So tell me what's going on. Are you, you, you can't go to the gym or are you working out at home? You I'm, home? I'm at home. I'm at home with the kids. I was actually working out with my son. So you got weights at the crib. Yeah. What was that? You got weights at the crib. Uh, nah, nah, no weights in the crib. Just straight. So you doing body, body, body weight exercises? Yeah, yeah, that's it, body weight. Well, are you uh, doing arm curls with your son? Basically, you, you're arm curling Push your ups. son or your children? Push-ups up. Push ups and sit-ups. KJ, come here. KJ, come here. Come hey, you hi. know what's crazy? Now, I don't know if this is true because I watched The Last Dance, but they say Michael Jordan, for the most part, all he did was like a thousand push-ups and a thousand sit-ups every day. What up, KJ? <laughs> say hi. Hi. <laughs> What's going on, man? I got a lot of different names. What does KJ know me as? Am I the dude in the Fast and Furious movie? Am I ludicrous? Am I the guy on the phone like with Fast Justin Bieber? Who am I? You like the Fast and Furious movie? Oh, Fast and Furious. <laughs> he's still in time. He's still on time, Mr. Christ. He didn't watch Fast and Furious. <laughs> hey, man. It's all good. My, my job is to get something that KJ loves. If you don't already love the Lil Wayne Silence of the uh, Lambs record I just came out with, but he can do. He can go to KidNation.com and look at the Stay Clean video. Where you calling from, bro? Jersey City. calling, but where you live from? Jersey City. Jersey City. Man, I got a crib in Jersey City, man. No, Newport you don't. Get out yeah. of here. I'm not far from Newport. Where at? Yep, real talk. Okay. I love that Stop. area. Yep, Liberty City and all that stuff around there. Um, well, you know, Hudson River, you can see right across the, the water. No, I know exactly what you're talking about. We go bike riding there all the time. Hey, man, well, next time I'm in Jersey City, I hope to see y'all, man. I'm going to be running with a mask on. Just look for the dude with a big-ass afro. Light skin. Absolutely. Absolutely, I, brother. All right, Team Light Skin. Love to you, man. Play it for KJ, the clean version. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Keep them workouts going, man. Let's go live with, like, two more people while we at home feeling good about ourselves, man. I'm just trying to spread love and positivity. That's all we're doing here. Silence of the Lambs is on the net on all streaming platforms right now. And now this button of me trying to go live with people is not working. So this, this is terrible. Okay, here we go. Hold up. Hold on a second. Hold on. I'm looking. I'm looking. Let me see. Let me see. I'm trying to get a little, little vers versatility up in this piece. Who are we going live with? B. Louie. Man, what country is this? Let's see what country this is. I'm seeing the flags and I don't even know what, what, what country it is, but I'm curious to know. And he seemed like he do music, so hopefully, let's see what's going on here. Connect and connect. What a My thing. guy, what up? You gotta, what's good? you gotta tell me what that flag is, man. What country is that? Where you from? 
that's Nigeria. You know, um, I'm from Huntsville, Alabama. Yeah. But that's my, you know, that's where I'm majority, my blood and all that, you know. Absolutely, man. I did I did one of those um, AfricanAncestry.coms, and I haven't told the world where I'm from yet because I don't think they would believe me. But, man, salute to the home country, bro, and tell me something about all the people in Alabama, how y'all doing during these times. Man, I'll tell you this, man. I'm in Huntsville, and we're doing pretty good. We got low numbers, so the city's picking back up. Yeah. Um, some people are starting to work and everything. Like, entertainment places are opening up. Yep. We still being careful about everything, but uh, everything's slowly opening up. Just staying safe still. Man. Wearing masks. You know, the man. crazy thing is that even though we're trying to encourage everybody to stay in, it's Memorial Day weekend, and I'm, I, you know, it's hard to try and encourage people when you know they want to get out and barbecue, like outside of their houses, and just feel the energy of the city. But we got to continue to reinforce that. You got to take it easy. You got to take it slow. Take the proper precautions. The whole world has changed, man. We got to know that, and you got to go out with gloves. You got to go out with masks. You got to be very cognizant and very understanding about what you touch and who you around and how long you around certain people. So. I'm glad that I'm seeing you in the crib right now and doing what you're doing, man. Tell me if you uh if you heard that silence of the lambs and how you feel about it. You already know, man. It's super dope, man. Super dope. Them, the, your rhythms and all that, man. Crazy. Thank you, man. I named one of my daughters Cadence, so <laughs> Cadence is one of my That's favorite dope. things, man. I, I I love the cadences, and I'm gonna continue to make y'all proud in terms of the flows, man. And I know you uh, did. You see the verses with me and Nelly all day. You already know, man. <laughs> So you got to tell me who you who your ideal people, two individuals are to see on Versus. I know you've been thinking about it. Like, as a fan, who the hell do you want to see on that? Man, let's see. I'm, I'm more of a producer, you know, so I'm going to go with, like, I like Rick Rock. You know, he from Alabama. Right. That's dope that you say yeah. that, too. Alabama needs more love when it comes to what y'all have contributed to this music industry. So I like that. Who the hell would Rick Rock go up against, though? Polo. Polo and Rick Rock? Yeah. Damn. All right, I know Polo. That's that's my dog. Let me let me see what he's talking about. Let me see what he thinks about that, man. <laughs> in the meanwhile, man, shout out to your Nigerian roots. Shout out to everybody in Alabama. Uh, all my Alabama people, y'all are my neighbors here from Georgia. So, again, man, listen to that Silence of the Lambs and submit videos to the Stay Clean video on KidNation.com. Make sure y'all tag us so that we can save the world, bro. I'm trying to save the world. One kid at a time, you know? Yes, sir. Do what you do. All right, my brother. Love to you, man. Stay safe. All right, man. I'm going to go I'm gonna go live with one more person. Man, this is fun. I see all the flags from all the different countries going on. DJ Drama versus DJ Khaled. <laughs> I like that. We definitely we ain't had no DJs on there yet. We do need to get some DJs on versus. I'm all the way with you. I'm not mad at that idea. All right, I'm trying to go live. Here we go. Here we go. Who else can we go live with? We need another woman. We need another woman. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, let's see what she's talking about. Boom, boom, boom. I'm just picking that random, by the way. Look at all these flags. Look at all these countries. What up, Canada? Nova Scotia. Hey. Hello. What's your name? Oh, I'm like a beautiful I'm Leora. Where, where are you from? Because that accent I don't recognize, and I've been everywhere, I thought. <laughs> Um, I'm from um, Gloucester in the UK. You from UK? Yeah. Man, we just shot Fast and Furious Nine there, so you know, um, you know, they comes out next April. So I don't know if you're a Fast and Furious fan, but we literally shot the whole movie. We there. are, yes. <laughs> so talk to me. What do you What you want to talk about, Ryan Cameron? I'm not giving you no Louis. You need to keep. My heart's going crazy right now. <laughs> Okay, so look, I'm going to give you a second to calm down and let me see what else I can talk about. I love the UK. You know, the only thing that I have a problem with that I'm starting to get used to is when it's not summertime and it's cloudy and rainy a lot. It, it kind of is hard on me because I, I love the sun so much. It's like part of the reason I decided to do the live outside today because if it's a nice day, I cannot not be outside. But when in the UK, it's like three quarters of the year is just gloomy. It is. But you guys are used to it. Today it's rainy and cold. The other show day everybody. Was... Show everybody what's going on in the okay. UK, how the weather is, and why I say that. Yeah, it's like horrible. It that looks, looks nice. Like sun. That looks sunny. No, it's freezing cold. Yeah, it's freezing cold here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you turn it back around. All good. I see. 
I see you got some yeah. kids. How old are your kids? Oh, yeah. I've got three children. How old are they? I've got seven, four, and two. So, yeah, crazy. You definitely have to go to KidNation.com. And I need you to submit some videos because we got the Stay Clean video uh -huh. and the initiative about kids washing their hands and stuff. Your uh -huh. seven-year-old would be perfect for it. So make sure you do that and tag at Kid Nation. Cool? No, definitely. Absolutely. Did you I listen to it, the yeah. new record? You listened to the new record with me and Lil Wayne, Silence of the Lambs, produced by Timbaland? I haven't, no, but I'm a huge fan. So okay, so look, you gotta go to Spotify, go to Apple Music, whatever you whatever you listen to all the time, you have to go listen to that because it's a lot of metaphors and it's gonna you're gonna have to listen to it a couple times to really understand everything that we said. Amazing. All right. I know your heart's still beating, but I, I appreciate the love. Appreciate so you. Crazy. Man, hug the kids and make sure you keep them safe. And I will talk to you. Uh, maybe I'll talk to you again soon, man. Hopefully yeah, we'll be back out there. Okay. All love. Yep, yep. <laughs> hey, man, listen. I, this is my second time going live with the fans. I can, I have to be honest with y'all and tell you that. I'm absolutely loving. I'm loving. Like, it's hard to, to, to really, you know, do a lot of different social media things. But this right here. I haven't had a bad person come on here yet. It's all good energy. Everybody that's just talking about good, good, uh, creative things and sparking a lot of creative thought. That's what I love. All right. Since I love it so much, I'm a, I literally I'm going live with one more person. I feel like we missing. I'm trying to. That's we did UK. We did not Alabama. We did LA last night. Let me see what I can do. Let me see what I can do. Come on, man. Let me get a. Let me get a fan. Let me see what uh. All right, let's see what my man Jason Harris is talking about. This is dope as hell, by the way. I'm telling you, man, technology is it's, it's crazy. What up, boy? What's up, boy? What's going on, man? What's the word? What you doing, man? Where you where you at? Man, I'm actually in L.A. I'm from Arkansas. I was going on some real estate stuff, man. That's what it is. What part of Arkansas are you from? Brinkley, Arkansas, bro. Small town, but, man, we stay humble, and, man, we yeah. love it. How far is that from Little Rock? Man, about an hour, man. But not far. Man, listen, I don't want to. I don't want to talk about any negativity, but Arkansas, it's people would never in the world like never realize how many gangs it is in Little Rock, <laughs> Arkansas, and how they in Little Rock. How serious it is. So I'm curious to know, since you was only an hour away when you grew up, did you uh, encounter any of that, any of that craziness that was going on in Little Rock with all the gangs and all the stuff? Yeah, you encounter it, man. A lot of people in and out, but you know what I'm saying? You got to maneuver through it with all, you know, life's difficulties like it is, man. You just got to maneuver through it. That's all. Absolutely. It seemed like it made you a, a pretty well-rounded individual, and I've only been talking to you for all the 60 seconds, man. Right, right, right. Raised with my grandma, my moms, and all that, man. Did, a, did an awesome job. And now I got Yeah. When you have Arkansas, when you have Arkansas, can't nobody tell you nothing, bro. Nah, man, not at all. Oh, that's, that's a beautiful that. thing. What you want to talk to me about? Man, you know, you I love, I love man? man, I love you and your verses, man. You and Nelly, man, y'all did y'all thing, man. Uh, y'all, y'all the two I definitely wanted to see the whole time. And, man, y'all did that, made a dream come true. And, shoot, you know, I would love to uh, get you yeah. on the podcast. You know, me and my wife podcast. Love about your podcast. We talking about love, life, ah, and music, and laughter. Yo, that was the smoothest that was the smoothest transition ever. Because first, you, when I when I clicked on, you had the hat cocked all the way up. I didn't know what was going on. And then you smoothly just talked about the podcast. Well, I, I really was on that. some real estate stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I was just, that's how, I, you know, I was just yeah. chilling on some real estate. But the podcast is there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad at that. But I'm going to be honest with you, man. We're doing the podcast right now. You need to take the audio from what we got going on. And we could, you could use it. So that's why I'm giving you the floor to ask I heard you the questions, and then you can put it on your podcast. That's what's, that's what's up, on, man. man. So, well, look, so, you know, what, what what advice can you give to our people, our young people out here about love and, you know, life and, and family? What's, what's some advice you can give to our people? Man, the best advice that I could give is, man, not to live in the past, man. Like, everything happens for a reason. Um, I said this the other day. I was like, man, you can only understand life in reverse not going forward so when you encounter these bumps and obstacles don't get too down on yourself man just continue to live life you have the choice right now to be happy no matter what your circumstances are and you also have the choice to start thinking about what you're going to do in the future and how to affect change 
not only for yourself, but for everyone around you, man. And just be somebody else's light. Call somebody and tell them you love them. You never know what they're going through right now. You can literally change the whole direction of somebody's day right at this moment, right after you get off this live, just by calling one of your family members you ain't talked to in a minute, just by hitting the homie. I ain't saying call people that owe you money or nothing. You know what I mean? I'm talking about hit somebody that you know that you love that you ain't hit in a minute because you know how precious life is. And if this isn't an example of what's going on right now to, to, to teach you, that life is precious and you got to live every day graciously and be thankful for what you do have. And I'm telling you, man, that's my best advice. It's way, it's people are way worse off than, than we are. It's people complaining about little stuff and it's, it's individuals out here without arms and without legs and, you exactly. know, this Memorial day. So you got to salute and think about all the individuals that help fight for our country. And it's people that went and fought and, and is losing and, and, and don't have limbs. And we over here complaining about what, Come on, man. Right. That's, that would be my advice. I could go on and on about that. Right. And me and, and my wife. Both this is for your podcast, man. Ask I appreciate questions. it. Ask I appreciate it. Hey, man. So, you know, doing the dating scene, you know, we talk about love and all that. So what's up with the dating scene? We got a lot of singles out here. What's some advice you can give for the for the, for the the people that's looking for love? Man, you can listen. I don't, I'm a married man. I don't really, I don't have no advice. You know, you, you. As single, all I can say. You say what? You was dating at you was you know dating what? at one point. You know what I'm saying? No, I got you. I'm messing with you. This is a good question. I actually have a song coming out talking about this. This is one of them things where if you don't understand the value of having a woman at home with you during quarantine, yes. And I'm talking about the value, not not the ones that get on your nerves or whatever. Or same thing with women whose men is getting on their nerves. I'm talking about the value of having that in-house, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the value of appreciating a lady and a woman because the people that's single right now that's quarantined by themselves are going through hell. I'm exactly. telling you that right now. So my advice to you would be, you never know when times like this may happen again. You better get you somebody or try to get somebody that you appreciate and love. And nobody's perfect out there. So don't be looking for perfection. You need to have somebody that's able to put up with your shit. Literally, and the same thing you can put up with they shit, but you got to have a, a foundational love, and you got to have a foundational respect for one another, and you have to understand that y'all gonna continue to evolve and change, but you have to evolve and change together. And communication is key. That's the yes. number one thing, man. You gotta communicate. Yes. You know, it's like everybody has these different expectations for one another, but when you don't have communication and you have these expectations and the person doesn't live up to your expectations, then everything falls sour and you get upset because you've had expectations that you didn't even have a conversation with, with this person. So I think that's one of the biggest things about being in a relationship is you not talking to the person, having unrealistic expectations. And when they don't do what you want them to do, you get mad at them. Right. How the hell you gonna get mad at them and you ain't even had, to had a conversation with them about what the fuck it is that you wanted. Exactly. That's terrible. Real talk. Hey, man, I appreciate you, bro. Your, your internet's acting a little crazy, but hopefully that's appreciate a good it, enough man. clip. Yeah, hopefully that's a good enough clip People for your call. podcast People. and continue success, bro. All right, man, all I appreciate love. it, man. Much love, Luda. Shout What's out. Up? Hey. hey, man, this has been a quick segment while I've been at the crib, man. I want y'all to enjoy yourselves. Love to all the fans. Check out Silence of the Lambs. I need everybody to submit their videos. We just literally started this whole campaign and this whole platform called KidNation.com. Follow at KidNation on all of the socials. Man, we about to change the world with this one. You know why? Because it's from the mouth of the babies themselves. It's from the kids. And when the kids say something, we listen. Because it's all innocence and it's all candidness. They talking real. There is no sugarcoating. They just telling it like it is. That's why I wanted to do this. So love to each and every one of you. Love to all the parents out there that's stepping up to the plate. You know why? Because it's uh, homeschooling going on and y'all are cooking and y'all are cleaning, especially to all the mothers out there. That's why I'm doing this. I'm doing this for y'all. We need a whole new form of entertainment and we need something. All the rest of the stuff is prehistoric. No, we stepping it up to 2021, 2022, this whole decade and then on and all of that. Love to everybody. That's how we change. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. Peace.